It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Team Valley Brewery. And this is a bottle of a half warmer. It's a 6% ABV beer that's brewed in Herefordshire and Worcestershire. Oh, sorry, my, my mistake. Uh, brewed using only local hops from Herefordshire and Worcestershire. But they are based in Worcestershire. Uh, they are from Knight... Nightwick. Very cool. Very cool. I love the bottle. Keeping ale real since 1997. These bottles just have a really nice feel about them. I've been drinking a lot recently of these kind of, they're either bottle conditioned or they're different bottles from smaller breweries and they're just beers that offer up imagination as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, I've spent a lot of time in 2023 visiting supermarkets and buying supermarket beer. Um, I ventured out to the odd bottle shop or two, but, but not as much as I would have liked. And when you have teamed up with a company called Best of British Beer, I'll talk about them more in a moment. But first and foremost, I, I like the beer to be the showcase. I like to pour the beer, show the beer. But picture the scene. It's November here in the UK. Last night I had the fire roaring. I got a ton of... Let me show you... Let me show you the beer first and foremost. It might be a bottle conditioned beer. Uh, we got a three finger tan coloured head, I'm going to call that. Good levels of carbonation. It, the glass does have a widget on the bottom, so it's going to kind of aggravate that carbonation a bit, it, or a, some etching on the bottom of the glass. So the carbonation is going to be more than it would be if it was not a widget in the bottom of the glass. It's, a, it's an amber coloured deep chestnutty amber coloured beer good carbonation good look to the beer looks fantastic but just kind of yeah picture the scene really i've got a six percent abv beer here um i chopped the tree down about 13 months ago no it was only two years ago now two i think it was two years ago now and it was a cherry tree we had in the garden and I've got a ton of logs just, just on the floor here. And I'm burning them in my kind of big fireplace in there. I've got a log burner in the front and a big, when it gets cold, I've got a big fire. The big, it was in a pub, it was a pub fireplace. And it's got the hearth and it's got everything else and, and I, I absolutely love it. Um, fills the house with smoke. My wife hates the damn thing, but I love it. I, I love that kind of traditional, like old fashioned fire. When you get a beer like this, like it's called Hearth Warmer, it's it's probably about nine, eight, nine degrees in here now. It's quite cold in this conservatory, but beers like this for me take me through winter. If ever I'm feeling a bit like. This winter's going on a bit too long, or it's a bit too cold today, or you know, you know, winter blue, we all get it. A little bit of winter blues. Then I think a beer like this is, you know, especially sitting next to the fire, it's perfect. And I think that's why they brewed it. It's called Hearth Warmer. Let's get the aroma then. Oh, it just smells fantastic. Rich, nutty, biscuity. Oh, the hops in the beer. It smells a little bit like um, Parma Violets, the, the sweets. It smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. 
rich, fruity, hoppy. Oh, that's delightful. That is a delightful beer. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Something definitely to be sitting next to the fire with. 6% ABV. It's going to warm you from the inside out. There's touches of vanilla. There's, there's touches of figs, and plums and prunes. Hmm. It's really kind of, oh, it's got a real, it's making me kind of like bump my gums a bit. Oh, it's just really fruity. One of the, like, but when I say fruity, I don't mean orange. I don't mean grapefruit. I don't mean like all that American hop stuff. I mean more like spices, Christmas spices, like gingers and cloves and corianders and just all your winter, your great winter spices, but with some hops there as well. It tastes fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. But interestingly, being a 6% beer, the beer is very drinkable. It's very kind of refreshing. It's almost edging towards kind of double or imperial stout territory. So you'd, you'd almost expect in a big, thick, creamy mouthfeel with a beer, but it's quite refreshing, quite refreshing to drink. I want to see if it is indeed a bottle condition. So I'm going to roll this beer around in the glass. I think, oh, wow, 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 whoa, look at that, look at that. That is definitely... Look at that. That is what you call a bottle conditioned beer. What you see there in the bottom of that glass is all your yeast, all your sediment. That is, I've probably got here, they're probably hand bottling their beer. And what I probably have here is the last draws from the fermenter. And I've probably got a right old chunky monkey of a beer, you know, a right, a right at the bottom, all that kind of yeast. I was wondering, I was kind of like, this is, this is full on. I was thinking this, this is kind of like really, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but it makes a lot of sense now. It makes a lot of sense. That yeast, it's caused a second fermentation process in the bottle. They call it bottle conditioning. And, and what that does is it offers up a bit of carbonation in the beer, in each bottle. Um, it's the old way, the old fashioned way of carbonating a bottle of beer is to add a little bit of yeast in the bottom of the bottle. And boom, it causes that controlled second fermentation process where there's a little bit of carbonation being produced. But right, okay, let's taste it with that yeast in. Let's see if it's changed. Oh, it's better. It's better, it's more well-rounded. What I find when you get that yeast in the glass, it knocks out some of that carbonation. It's not as kind of like hissy and fizzy on the on the palate and it's a little bit more kind of like it's dumbed down a little bit um it's really good it's a really good beer i really like it let's let's see what they let's see what they say about the beer uh the the color of glowing embers rich intense malt flavors bottle conditioned beer allowed to settle overnight chill for 30 minutes and pour gently to keep the sediment in the bottle okay team valley Tem Valley, however you pronounce the name. Um, because I'm reviewing the beer, um, I always pour the yeast into the glass. I like it on a personal note. I like all that yeast. 
Um, but I like to show my viewers exactly what's going in to their glass of beer. Some people may not bother reading the side of the bottle for the instructions on how to pour a bottle of beer. Many people don't. So this is for the benefit of the, the people who don't know. And they're wondering, my goodness me, why is there a load of sediment? What's going on with this beer? Um, it's okay. It's fine. The beer is absolutely wonderful. And if anything, you're going to give yourself a load of vitamins if you drink that sediment in that beer. And the beer is available from bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. There's a link in the description box of the video. Um, they offer up beers from all of these wonderful small bottled beer breweries around the UK that most online bottle shops won't offer. I think that's great. So please check them out if you want interesting small style unique beers they're the people to try for that um yeah great beer great beer i'm gonna say eight out of ten eight out of ten from real Ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers